back guys, I'm Gary. And I'm Gary Sr. And we're with Automatic Door and Hardware. We're a manufacturer of commercial doors, automatic doors, and the parts and hardware that go with those doors. So if you like learning about doors and hardware, you've come to the right place. Each day we try to produce two or three videos related to this. So if this interests you guys, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Okay guys, so in this video, um, we're going to explain step-by-step step how to install our Maverick automatic sliding door package. Which uh, is one of the easiest automatic sliding doors to install on the market. Uh, since our door leaves all come fully glazed with glass already in them, and uh, it, which makes uh, the whole operation of installing these doors much quicker than conventional automatic doors that are sold. Uh, they're actually quite easy to install. Uh, one of the first things you'd want to do is uh, open your uh, packages up and set aside your jam tubes and the automatic door header. Uh, the jam tubes uh, get screwed to the automatic door header with four screws, very simple operation. Uh, once the uh, jam tubes are attached to the header on both ends of the header, then the header can uh, simply be with two people, one on each jam tube, and you are going to be top heavy uh, because the header will be at the top with the weight. Uh, it's very simple to walk these, uh, when lifting them up, to walk the uh, door up so that the header is above you and then they are simply placed in your rough opening. Uh, once this automatic door is placed in the rough opening, you'll want to level that header across the top, which is extremely important to, because uh, uh, a, a lot of uh, automatic sliding doors are, uh, can have problems just because they aren't installed properly. Uh, if it is installed properly, it'll be installed plumb and level. So the first thing you want to do is level it by putting a, placing a level at the top and shimming under either the left jam or the right jam until you're completely level. You want to make sure it's very level. Then uh, what you'll do after you've leveled it, you'll attach uh, because the opening is a quarter inch wider, you'll want to get some quarter inch shims and you'll want to uh, attach a quarter inch shim to the jam and, and uh, figure out <clears throat> uh, you'll want to probably at least have three holes to put your screws in and attach the jam tube to the uh, whatever service you're mounting to. Uh, if de depending on the mounting hardware, you may be going into wood, you may be going into storefront aluminum. Uh, if you were in storefront aluminum, we'd recommend self-tapping screws. Uh, if you're going into masonry, then you're gonna wanna drill with a rotor hammer into the concrete and install plastic anchors with screws. Uh, once you get all three of these screws in, then you'll want to check that jam that it is uh, level and plumb. Very important. You want to level it on the exterior side, and then you want to level it on the uh, the opening side, the which meaning what you'd be walking through, uh, and that needs to be perfectly level. Once that's level, then you can shim it appropriately and uh, screw the screws in. And uh, you'll want to screw those screws in no tighter than uh, once you see a little, a little tiny bit of distortion in your aluminum jam tube, you don't want to go any tighter uh, because the caulking will actually be what holds that door in place. And then of course you'll want to do that on the other jam tube too. It'll want to, you'll want to make sure it's plumb and level. Once that's all anchored in place, then uh, you'll have to install your uh, bottom guide tracks. And uh, 
that's generally done very easily by uh, snapping a chalk line across uh, one jam tube to the other. Uh, and then once you've got a straight line that goes across there, then you can install your bottom guide tracks. And those are uh, generally drilled into concrete uh, and you'll use the uh, plastic plugs and screws to attach that. Uh, once that's done, then uh, all you have left to do is hang your uh, active doors. You'll have two stationary doors that snap in and two doors that slide, uh, which makes this job go very quickly. Once the doors are all installed, then of course you'll have to have an electrician hook up your 110 power supply to that automatic door. And uh, you'll, of course you'll want to install any of the sensors that the door came with, which is very easy uh, to uh, simply plug them in and uh, install them <clears throat> with the, the screws and the hardware. And of course those will want to be adjusted per ANSI standard uh, so that uh, your door is going to operate at approximately five feet away from the door. And then you'll want to adjust your presence sensors properly also. Uh, that's essentially what it would be required on uh, installing your sliding door.